Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to make this really cool black tears effect. I'll show you two variations of this effect, one with just the tears and one where the character's eyes are also black. This effect is mainly inspired from an unfinished edit I did a little while ago, and since I think it falls into that creepy slash demonic category of effects, I decided to choose none other than everyone's favourite cannibal, Mr. Hannibal Lecter here, to be my example clip. Well done. Make sure your clip is all set up. For this type of effect, I would recommend using a profile shot like the one I'm using, and making sure that it has as little movement as possible. So go up to new layer and add in a new null object. Now selecting the clip layer, go to Tracker and Track Motion. Zoom in and select the middle of this little square to move it around to your character's eye. Hold Shift in the corners and drag them outwards to make the square bigger if you need to. Now make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline and go to Edit Target and make sure it's on the Null one. Now click the Analyze Forward button and After Effects should analyze the path of the clip automatically. When it's done, you should be able to see the squares move along with the clip. Now click apply and select OK. Now you should be able to see all of these little keyframes underneath your main clip. And if you press U on the null layer, you should be able to see ones there as well. Now rename the null layer to right eye so we know which one it is and add another null layer and name this one left eye. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing as we just did, but for the left eye. So just follow along and copy what I'm doing. and make sure the motion target is selected on left eye, not right eye. Click the Analyze Forward button, and then Apply. Now change your resolution back to whatever you prefer. Add a solid layer and make it black. Now hide the layer so you can see what you're doing and zoom in. Go up to your character's eye and go to the pen tool or press G. And now make a very brief outline of what you want the tears to look like. It doesn't have to be perfect, we just want to get the basic shape of what we want for the moment. When you're done, spend some time adjusting each of the mask points until you're happy with what you've got. To make mine look like teardrops, I emulate the shape of a water droplet. Where the end is quite round and the middle section is quite skinny. All of the lines are generally quite smooth and curved. When you're done, show the layer again and make any more adjustments if you need to. Now press M to open up Mask Path and click the little keyframe button. Drag the keyframe all the way to the end of your clip and then add another one at the start. Now go up to your mask and adjust all of the points so that they sit along the waterline. You want to be able to adjust the handles so that they lie somewhat horizontally. Now it should look something like this. Easy ease your keyframes like so. Now go into the graph editor and copy my graph. And now it should look like this. Go back into the main workspace and make sure you have motion blur turned on. Drag the black solid layer below the right eye and now parent it to the right eye null layer like so. Now when you play your clip, you should be able to see how the black layer moves along with the clip rather than just sitting on top of it. Now we're going to do the exact same thing but for the left eye. So I'll speed up this part and you can follow along. By the way, I struggled for a long time with the left eye as I really didn't like how it looked for the longest time. Once again, press M to open up Mask Path. Now drag the keyframe all the way to the end and put another one at the front. Now do the same thing as you did before and drag up all of the points to the waterline of the eye. Now easy ease them and do a similar graph to the one you did before. Now it should look something like this. Parent this layer to the left eye null layer. And there you go. Now you've completed the first version of this effect. If you're like me and are super picky, you can also go ahead and make more adjustments if you need to. All right, now I'll show you the second version of this effect. Go up to new layer and add in a new solid and make sure it's black. Hide the layer 
and then use the pen tool to make a mask around your character's eye. Show the layer again to see how you did. Once you're happy with the look, go and connect this layer with the left eye null layer, just like we did with the black tears previously. Now once again, do the exact same thing, but for the other side. And yeah, you're all done! I hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to subscribe below and follow me on Instagram to see more of my edits. Bye!